Welcome to Beards, Pipes, Motorcycles, and Tattoos today. I'm your host, Buzz Killington. Actually not. I'm the Sultan of Silver. How are you? I want to show you a couple things about the pipe that I just made. This was last weekend's pipe that I made. Just kind of fixed it up today. Crav Cragified it. Stained it. I was getting so bored. There were pipes that I was getting bored with. I was just going to butcher them up or something. So what I did was I just kind of did my little version of a rustification. This is a uh, Missouri Meerschaum Mark Twain. Had a briar pipe with a saddle bit, so I took out the, the shank um, of the Mark Twain, put a briar shank in there, which had the Vulcanite saddle bit already in there. Old school, a pipe from like the late 60s, early 70s sand the top. That's kind of like my signature thing. I like that. It almost looks like mushroomy or like fungusy. Smooth as can be. I start out with like a foam sanding block then end with uh, like 1200 grit. So, uh, Cragified it. Shank. The body. The bowl looks like stone. This looks more like a tree branch. Uh, stained it. Lightly sanded it, hit it with some satin. That's it. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that you may like. Most of you guys have mustache wax. My beard is extremely blow dried today, so this look is going to last me like about another 10 minutes because I just I just blow dried it. So, one of the things I like to do is I like to put beeswax on a bit so it goes in here so I'm not really putting without a band the shank is kind of at risk so to speak so what I like to do is take mustache wax this is another use for mustache wax this is uh, can you handle bar secondary let me show that to you can you handle bar secondary mustache wax which means it's a little bit stiffer so it's almost as hard as a candle. I scrape off just a little bit. See that? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put that on the shank. Now watch. I don't know if you can see me see this here. And I just put it on there like that. Can you see that? Okay, I'll turn it around. And I just put it on the outer edge, not the inner, not inside. You guys, you woodworker guys, know what that's called, right? So, anyways, I'm going to push that into the pipe, spin it a couple times to spread the beeswax, mustache wax, and it's vanilla. So, I can think of worse things to make a pipe smell like, but it's not really going to affect anything. I like the secondary because it's stiffer and it's not going to melt under the heat like the primary stuff. So let me just polish this baby up for a second. Hold on. All right, so what do you think? Okay, it, it turns. It's hard to turn, but what it's not going to do is stress out the wood. Watch. There we go. Now I'll pick out some of those pieces in there and you can see some of the pieces in the chamfered part. Woodworker language. Twists in easy. So it's very fluid. It's not tight because you've seen you've seen uh, bits go into a shank where it's like ee, 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 ee. you know it's like you know and you know you're stressing out the wood. So there we go. So it's easy to clean. This is the Missouri Meerschaum poker that I made last weekend. Just finished it today. I'll uh, let everything cure uh, in the sunlight on this crisp fall day. And then I'm going to probably fire it up tonight as well. And just uh, maybe do the next Beards Without Borders with this right here. I like it. What do you think? Smokes like a beast. Now it does. When it was just the Mark Twain with the long 
you know, shank and bit. It was just a waste of my time, just relighting and gurgling all the time, and I'm loving it now. So don't be afraid to butcher up, cannibalize existing pipes and experiment with things like that. And here we go, we have the, the facial hair world merging with the pipe world, which they naturally do anyway. So mustache wax makes a great, uh, I don't want to say lubricant, but it helps the uh, a very tight bit go in and out uh, for cleaning without putting the shank at risk. I hope that helps. Thanks.